Today, I am here to talk about the nine poetic forms which are acrostic, synchane, limeric, sonnet, haiku, tanika, and sijo. Let's get started. Number one is acrostic. An acrostic form uses the letters in a topic word to begin each line. All lines of the poem relate and describe the poem. They are very easy to write as they don't need to rhyme like usual poems do. Let's understand with an example. April by Anonymous After an extensive winter, pretty tulips rise from the ones I see ground, bringing fresh signs of life. Example number two, Maths Makes me use my brain. Arithmetic is fun. Takes time to learn. Hooray for Maths! Number two is a syncane, a five-line poem made from the French word of five that is sync. is very popular because of its simplicity. It was created by American poet Adelaide Crepsi about 100 years ago. Here is example number one. Mules, step on, unmoving, braying, kicking, resisting, not wanting to listen, people. Here is one more about flowers. Flowers, colorful and fragrant, swaying, growing, blooming, make me feel happy, blossoms. Moving on to limerick. A limerick is a short funny poem having a rhyme scheme of A, A, B, B, A. It is named after the city limerick in Ireland and was made famous by Edward Lear. Let's look on to the examples. There once was an ape in a zoo. Who looked out through the bars at you? Do you think it's fair to give poor apes a scare? I think it's a mean thing to do. Next is a limerick on an ice cream. Ice cream, cold and yummy. I love its sweet richness as it finds a way into my tummy. You might notice a few things about this poem. It tells a little story. There is an action in which I eat the ice cream and I swallow it. There is a feeling expressed where I tell that I love it and I even rhyme the yummy with dummy. Next is Sonnet. A sonnet is a poem of 14 lines using a formal rhyme scheme. In English, typically having 10 syllables per line. They were invented by the Italian poet Giacimo Dallantini. They are often written about love and nature. Here's a sonnet named Candy by someone called Isba. Candy is always a yummy, sweet, yummy treat. It also comes in all different cool shades. Candy might look like a glum, dull white sheet. Maybe it will look like flaming red caves. I think candy is very delicious. Candy can look like a cookie that's blue. I think candy is so bubblicious. Candy can be a sweet, sugary blue. It is also in all different flavors. Candy can be orange or bubblegum. There are many other candy flavors. I love sweet and sugary candy. That's yum. Candy is always a sweet, yummy treat. Candy is always edible to eat. Number five is a haiku. Haiku is a type of poetry which originated from Japan. These poems feature three lines of a short land which don't rhyme. It traditionally evokes images of a natural world. Basho is usually credited as the most influential haiku poet and the writer who popularized the form in the 17th century. Moving on to its examples. Spring is really here. Flowers are starting to bloom. Sunshine fills the air. Next one is butterflies are cool in the big huge green forest. They fly up so high. Moving on to Tanaka, a Japanese poem of 5 lines and 31 syllables giving a complete picture of an event or mood. The sketch from Life Form of Waka or Tanaka was developed by Sayato Mokichi. Examples are Wind blowing on my face, making my cheeks rosy red, it's biting my nose and chilling through all my bones, it is pushing me along. The leaves change color when the fall, wind starts to blow. Yellow, orange and brown are colors of fall leaves slowly falling from the trees. 
last one is seizure a Korean verse from related to haiku and tanaka and comprised of three lines for a total of 44 to 46 syllables. Each line contains a pause near the middle through the break need not to be played. Metrical. So here is a seizure describing poverty. Walking the streets to watch the needy and the poor. The wealth that covers most of this country is lost. Casting a dollar bill at each, each teardrop that breaks. Example number two, sitting in the sun, mind full of dreams and heart full of love, listening to the leaves in the trees as the wind slowly blows, no worries as she watches the day pass and the sun slowly set. So that was all. Thanks for watching.